Hey guys, this is Aaron from RF Digital. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through the Simbly Quick Start Guide. We're gonna install the Arduino IDE, the Simbly Libraries, and I'm gonna get you rolling on your first project. So the first thing we need to do is install the Arduino IDE. Navigate to arduino.cc and head to the download page. This part's really important. When you're on the download page, you need to find the header that says Previous Releases. We're gonna to go to download the previous version of the current release. On the next page, you're gonna see where it says Arduino 1.6.5. That's the version we need. Once the Arduino IDE is installed, we need a way to program our chip. That's where the library comes in. To install the assembly library, simply go to File and Preferences in your Arduino IDE. That should open a new window. In the Additional Boards Manager URLs field, you're going to enter the URL you see on your screen and hit OK. After you're done, go to Tools, Board, and the Boards Manager. Scroll down to Assembly Boards and hit Install. That's going to add your board to the list in Arduino. To confirm it's installed, it should say installed next to the board name. As you can see here, if you go to the Tools board menu, you'll see Simbly at the bottom. Click on that. The bottom right hand corner of your window should say Simbly now. It means we have that board selected. Your Simbly device can be programmed in one of two ways, either over the air or using USB. We're going to use USB. If you're on Linux, you can skip this step as it's for Mac and Windows only. Windows or Mac users, navigate to the URL in your Quick Start Guide and download the drivers for your operating system. Now I'm going to show you how to install the FTDI drivers for Windows. In a web browser, navigate to www.ftdichip.com slash drivers slash vcp.htm. Scroll down to the table listing the most recent drivers. Where it says Windows, on the right hand side, click Setup Executable. That should start your download. Once downloaded, click the setup.exe and move through the installation. Next, plug in your USB programming shield. With the Arduino IDE open, you're going to go to Tools, Port, and find the COM port associated with your device. Once you select your device, you should see it show up in the bottom right hand corner of your IDE. Now that we've completed the initial setup, let's get a project going. Click File, Examples, Simply for Mobile, and select the temperature item. A new window is going to pop up called Temperature. You're going to click on the Upload button. After it's done uploading, the bottom window is going to display Success. You've just programmed your first Simbly project. To access your Simbly from your mobile device, download and install the application from your device's app store. Once installed, enable Bluetooth on your device and open Simbly for Mobile. A list of found Simblies will appear. If you completed the upload in the previous steps, you can select it from the list and it'll generate an interface based on the temperature sketch. Your device will display the temperature reading of the assembly internal sensor. And that's it. You can find this guide and more documentation at assembly.com.